The area A of a circle with radius r is given by the formula A equals pi r squared. We're asked to find the radius of a circle with an area of 28.26 square units. And we're asked to round to the nearest tenth. So looking at our circle, this should be the radius, the distance from the center of the circle to the circle. Let's go ahead and label this r. So our goal is to find the value of r when the area is equal to 28.26. And because the area is equal to pi r squared, we know that pi r squared must equal the known area of 28.26. So if we solve this equation for r, we can determine the radius of the circle with the given area. Let's first isolate r squared, because pi r squared means pi times r squared. We'll divide both sides by pi. Dividing by pi undoes multiplying by pi, so the left side simplifies to r squared, or pi divided by pi equals one, one times r squared is r squared, and we'll leave the right side as 28.26 divided by pi. Now remember our goal here is to solve for r, not r squared, and therefore to solve for r, we need to undo the squaring by taking the square root of both sides of the equation, or raising both sides of the equation to the one-half power. Let's take the square root of both sides of the equation. Because we know r is positive, we're only concerned about the principal square root. Normally, the square root of r squared would be the absolute value of r. But again, because r is positive, we can say the square root of r squared equals r. So r is going to be equal to the square root of this quotient. And we'll have to go to the calculator to get a decimal approximation. So we press second x squared to get the square root. And notice how the entire fraction is under the square root. So under the square root, we have 28.26 divided by, for pi, we press second, and then the exponent key here, or the caret, and then right arrow to exit the square root, and then enter. Now remember, we are told to round to the nearest tenth, which means to one decimal place. Notice how there's a nine in the tenths place value. And then we look to the right to see whether we round up or down. So because there's a nine in the hundredths, we need to round up, which means we increase the nine in the tenths place value by one, which would give us 10 tenths or one, and two plus one is three, and therefore this rounds to 3.0. It is important to include the point zero because this does show we rounded to one decimal place or the tenths place value. So the radius is approximately 3.0 units if the area of the circle is 28.26 square units. Before we go, let's check this. Using the area formula, the area is equal to pi times 3.0 squared, which should be approximately equal to the given area of 28.26. Notice how because we did round up though, this area is going to be a little bit more than 28.26. Let's verify this on the calculator. So we have pi times 3.0 squared. Enter. And notice how this is very close to 28.26. It's a little bit more, again, because we did round the radius up. I hope you found this helpful.